like, don't like, the loop coaster. I like how tall the loop coaster is, measuring 92 centimeters in height. It's pretty big, containing a whopping 3,756 pieces. It's actually way taller than the previous roller coaster that we've gotten, which actually had 4,124 pieces, since it's a lot beefier. I don't like how the elevator mechanism is difficult to control without a motor. When you try to crank the lever by hand, it's very slow, and you really need to apply a lot of force to the lever to even turn it. I do like how it's very easy to install a motor to this mechanism, and it works really well when the motor is working properly. I like how the coaster looks when it's moving from the top. It looks really cool when the coaster zooms down the 90 degree drop. The coaster looks awesome when it goes through the first loop and it looks even better as it enters the double loop. Pretty much every angle looks amazing as you watch the coaster speed around the track. I really like just watching the loop coaster run on a continuous loop. I don't like the fact that if the tower isn't straight the tracks won't line up causing the carts to get stuck at the top of the elevator. Also if the counterbalance block isn't aligned properly it will throw off the balance causing the elevator to not work properly. However, it still looks very cool when it does work properly. I don't like all the studs on the waiting platform and the studs on the grass. It would have looked a lot cleaner if the studs were tiled up. I like how they built the roof of the waiting platform. They staggered tiles giving the roof a nice textured look and they use roller coaster tracks to construct an interesting shape. I like the four monitors in the waiting area showing videos of upside down riders, a troublesome squirrel, and I think a picture of a cell phone with photos. I don't like all the stickers in the set. It would have been better if they were printed tiles. But I do like the designs of the 16 stickers included in this set. I like the balloon cart mini build. They make good use of a white bicycle frame with several balloons connected towards the front. I like the balloon balloon animal pieces and the brown helium tank. I don't like the bench build. It feels too flat looking. The map of the amusement park is nice, showing previous LEGO fairground sets, such as the Ferris wheel, the haunted house, the carousel, and the current loop coaster. I like the hot dog stand that looks like a giant hot dog, but it's pretty weird that adding mustard to your hot dog would cost an extra $4. I like the fact that we get a pretzel cart, but I don't like how the pretzels are hanging off a stick. It isn't very secure. I like the dark blue and light bright orange color combination of the loop coaster. It really draws attention to the loops on the track. I like the azure and medium azure triangle tiled patterns that cover the tower behind the black chain links. I don't like the entrance to the loop coaster. It looks too flat. It needs more depth to look more realistic. I do like the designs of the stickers at the entrance with one showing no hats, no balloons, no foods, and no animals in the ride. And the other sticker has a nice height restriction design. I don't like that we only get three carriages for this ride where the previous roller coaster consisted of six. I don't like the designs of the carriages. They look too simple. They could have added more detail. I like the brake wheel mechanism that allows the carriage to slow down at the end of the ride. I also like the red stopper that holds the carriages in place and is then released once the elevator reaches the ground allowing the carriages to enter the elevator. I don't like the appearance of the Technic mechanism that controls the elevator lift. It doesn't look that good and it could have been hidden or disguised better. I don't like how the double O's look on the loop sign. The L and the P are fine, but the double O's look more like a B. I like the building experience of the loop coaster. It was fun putting the track together, however it was pretty repetitive when it came to constructing the elevator chain. It was a cool experience to build such a tall Lego set. I like the added detail of the red balloon stuck under the tracks. I like the palm tree and the flowers around the landscape. I like all 11 minifigures included in this set. The Lego employee is pretty nice. I think she's supposed to control the loop coaster. I like her yellow uniform that says Lego on the back. She also wears a hearing aid which is unique. The balloon seller has a fun balloon party shirt that's decorated on the front and back. His pink cap and purple pants match his outfit perfectly. The hot dog seller has an ordinary chef's shirt, but I like the beads of sweat on his face, probably caused from working over a hot grill. The pretzel vendor has a nice bright white teal and magenta striped shirt, and I like her big red round glasses. The redhead has a nice blue jean jacket and a red shirt with a rainbow print on it. The blue haired girl has a nice outfit with her pink flower top and blue cardigan. The curly brunette has a fun brown top with purple tassels and a brown strap. And the gray haired granny has a nice plain pink top. The light haired brunette male has a cool gamer shirt and a dark green jumper. The black haired gentleman has a nice Elvis hairdo with matching long black sideburns. He has a nice dark red jacket and a blue golf shirt. And the little kid has a fun blue jacket with a smiley face and lightning bolt buttons. So what do you like? What do you don't like? Comment below, let me know, and we will see you all in the next video. Bye.